Hello my friends, welcome back to MTD CNC North America. As you can see, I'm with my buddy Frank today and we are at the Precision Center for Methods here in Acton, Massachusetts. What do they do here? Well, you're about to find out and we're gonna talk Yazda. We're gonna talk Heimer and you're gonna learn a little bit just like me today. And as you guys always know, I'm not the expert, but I bring the experts with me. So Frank, thank you so much for being a part of MTD. You're welcome. Let's talk precision. The precision is so important in the world we live in now, whether it's medical or aerospace or anything else we get into, the tolerances are getting tighter, the metals are getting more difficult, and something like this precision center you have here in Acton, Massachusetts is one of a kind in the whole of North America. What does it include? What do you guys do here without giving away any of those secrets? So the Acton Precision Center is, is very important to our builders and our customer base because you, you, need, you need the best environment for these extremely precision, accurate machines. It starts with the foundation, Tony. It starts with the, the air quality. It starts with um, temperature. So, and that's why it's, it's so important to have this facility. And we, we have to provide our customers with the best machining practices, and this, this facility gives that to us. You know, when I think of methods, I think of Yazdas and Nakamura's and the methods machine of their own, the robo drills, the OKKs, the Kiwas. I mean, these are machines that require a precision center like this mm -hmm. in order to offer the best service. And knowing this is one of a kind in the whole of North America, I love being here every single time, right? And you're right, this is what a customer needs. If I have a Yazda and it's gonna take a few months for it to get here, and this is specific to a customer's design, it is almost a responsibility to make sure that we have a center like this, that they get the results that they want as well, doesn't it? Oh, absolutely. I mean, you have a two micron machine. You know, it's more than just the machine, you know, if you're holding that type of tolerance and precision. Again, you need, you need a very good floor. You need temperature control. So, and this, is, this puts us in the position to achieve the tolerance that a machine like Ayasa can achieve. You know, there might be some people out there that might not understand the true importance of temperature control because we've said that twice now. Mm -hmm. I've had the pleasure to play in areas where it's extremely humid in somewhere like Brazil's Amazon or in India and then where it can be very cold kind of like what's outside of Massachusetts in the winter time, right? Yep. That temperature change of just a degree or two will change microns and thousands of what we're trying to machine, won't it? So that importance is significant here in Acton. Yeah, absolutely. It it goes e even deeper than the machine, making sure that you know the machine's got thermal compensations built into the machine. But it also temperature it goes back right into the what you're using for a cutting tool and the material that you're cutting or even your your work holding. So. So let's talk a little bit specifically about Yazda, which we've done a little bit, which is a great segue, but let's talk about Yazda. We know it's Japanese made. We know how incredible and accurate it is. But something like this, the customer is willing to wait a limited amount of time, but a little bit of time to get the exact machine that they want, to get it here in the facility, to get it tested, to remove all of the questions, worries, concerns that they might have while you test it. And it all comes from Yazda method combined together in this precision center to give them exactly what they want, right? Absolutely, and why it's so important to have a facility like this is because Yazda has a facility like this. So they're doing all their testing back in Japan as we can do here and be able to make sure the machine can, perf can perform and hit the tolerances that they guarantee that they can hit. You know, I bet there's some real respect from the companies that you work with in other countries in Japan when they see something that you've created here. But something else that sticks out to me is you have specific partners in this precision center also. And one of those that sticks out today is Heimer, right? Yep. And you yep. have to have these types of partners that also must have the same type of quality that you require, that Yazda requires, in order to give that customer what they require. It's very important with a precision machine that you put precision tools in the machine to be able to achieve those tolerances that we may need to achieve, especially when you're, you know, you're dealing with the die mold industry and the aerospace industries. Um, you know, again, if, you, if you're gonna guarantee uh, a two micron uh, tolerance with a machine tool. You need to have a tool that can that can achieve that that tolerance. And, and Heimer is is a very high end tool holder that that has those high accuracies that we need to to use to put in a machine like this. 
Well, when we talk about Hymer, we think of an array of products, right? We think of being able to measure very precisely. We think of shrink fit holders. We think of the holders that go inside the machine. We think of so many different components of measuring and accuracy. When we're looking at this Yazda right now, you're utilizing some of the Hymer products in this machine for this aerospace project, which we cannot give away the secrets, so stop asking me. I know you're out there trying to ask me right now. We cannot give away those secrets, but we know that the precision is there. What are we using Hymer for in this project? Uh, it's this tool here is, is again the, the runout is very important. So the, the accuracy of the of the runout of that tool in the spindle is very crucial to the, the project that we're uh, cutting right now. Also, the, there's a dampening feature in that holder that's really helping with any any vibration, which could um, really affect part finish and even 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 the tool can break down quicker because we're cutting tough tough material. So. Again, that holder is very important to, to the success of this project. You know, another big reason we partner with Heimer is they, they have a lot of our, our missions too. They, they really support the, the end user extremely well. And, and methods, we take that very seriously. You know, because we need, again, we need to provide good support to our customers and, and best practices for, for machining, and, and Heimer gives you that. Well, Frank, you nailed it to me. When I travel around the country, seeing how much you guys have expanded from Chicago to the West Coast to the East Coast to the Southeast, the expansion of new areas down in Texas, you are nailing it, my friend. And I know that you've even moved a ton of inventory. And if I'm wrong, please correct me, around $4 million over to Chicago to make sure that shipping is even quicker. So you've nailed it. And partnering with these people like Heimer just continues to make it all better. Guys, I do appreciate what's going on here in Acton, Massachusetts at this Precision Center. If you have the opportunity to swing by and they'll let you in, that's the real question because there are a lot of incredible secrets here. But if they do, I highly recommend you stopping by. Give them a call. Methodsmachine.com is the website. And Frank, I really do appreciate you hopping on camera with me. It's not easy for everyone, but I think you're a professional and we're going to have to do this more often. Uh, thanks, Tony.